people, welcome to the lesson. Today we are going to page 111. Okay, let's repeat the new content. To disturb, to petrify, to suit, to let, sorry, <laughs> acceptable, to criticize, a criticism, to calm down, vulgar, proper, improper, gentlemanly, ladylike, well-mannered, sophisticated, petrifying, constructive. Very nice. Guys, to disturb is a verb that means to interrupt an activity or to cause somebody to feel upset or to feel troubled, to feel worried, okay? You know, in some hotels, there are little signs that you put outside the door, okay? They are hangers. You put outside the door and on these signs, it's very common to find in many hotels around the world, most hotels around the world, and the sign says, do not disturb. It means do not come in, I don't need any help right now, okay? So this is to disturb. To petrify, guys, means uh, to frighten someone, but to really frighten someone, okay? So to petrify is when you frighten someone to the point that the person cannot move or speak, okay? To suit. Guys, to suit has a few meanings, okay? To suit means to be right for a particular occasion or for a particular position or, for example, when uh, we are talking about a job, okay? If the job is the job of your dreams, you can say, oh, this job suits me, it's perfect for me. Okay? Uh, it can also mean to fit or to match. Okay? For example, I can say uh, this about clothing. Okay? It suits me. It fits me. Okay? Or I can say about a person too. Oh, this person suits me. It's like we have a match. We both combine. We match each other. Okay? Or to suit can also be to be convenient. Also when we are talking about a situation, okay? We can say, oh no, the situation suits me. It's convenient for me. To let is a synonym uh, to the verb to allow, okay? And it means to give permission to something. Acceptable is very similar to Portuguese, anything that you can accept or that people normally accept. To criticize is the verb, criticism is the noun and they are very similar to Portuguese. To calm down uh, is uh, to calm, but we use to calm down so the person it's the process of a person to become calmer, okay? We say, oh, calm down. Don't react so violently, for example, okay? Vulgar, the same word in Portuguese. Proper, similar to Portuguese. Proper means that it's right for you or for the situation or for the occasion, okay? Uh, for example, a proper uh, thing to say uh, to a birthday in at a birthday party is yes, congratulations, happy birthday. That's proper. Okay, improper is the opposite. Uh, gentlemanly and ladylike are the two adverbs uh, from uh, the words ladies and gentlemen. Remember, we use ladies and gentlemen to refer uh, to people or to call attention to you when you are talking to a uh, big public, to a big crowd. So gentlemanly means that that person acts like a gentleman and ladylike means that the woman acts like a lady. 
Well-mannered is a person that has good manners, that behaves well in situations, okay? Sophisticated is just like Portuguese. Petrifying comes, it's the adjective of the verb to petrify. Remember, I have explained at the beginning of the lesson. To frighten someone so that they become speechless, okay? And constructive is just like Portuguese, okay? Uh, to uh, add to this lesson, I want to put this word in the list. A suit, okay? Uh, remember, I have explained the verb to suit, which has three different meanings. Actually, it has more, okay? A few more, but they are, are more or less in this context, okay? A suit is uh, actually two pieces of clothing, okay? They are made of the same fabric, of the same material, and it is made by a jacket and a pair of trousers, okay? It's normally used by men in formal occasions or by men who work, for example, lawyers. Uh, when they go uh, to the to trials or when they go to work, most of them um, are asked to wear a suit. Say so they wear a suit, which is the jacket and the trousers. Under the jacket, they use a shirt with a tie. Okay, so a suit is also is these uh, two pieces of clothing together. Okay, so. Guys, let's repeat. If I were you, I wouldn't disturb her. She has a petrifying way of shouting at people. Their behavior wasn't considered ladylike or gentlemanly by the Duchess. It is improper behavior to not give up your seat for an elderly person. was a very well-mannered little boy and always said please and thank you to the visitors. Sometimes criticism is constructive and can make you a better person. Paul and Ryan's manager had criticized them at work for more than a month now and they decided to speak to their boss. She wasn't going to let him tell her to calm down anymore. She was going to tell him to leave. Good people. Very nice. So, let's practice. Don't forget to pause the video and answer the questions yourselves, okay? Let's go. What could happen if you disturb somebody when they are doing a test? A person could write the, own, the wrong answer if I disturb them when, we are, when they are doing a test. Are horror films generally acceptable films for children to watch? No, horror films aren't generally acceptable films for children to watch. Can sophisticated technology be easily understood? No, sophisticated technology cannot be easily understood. What type of clothing would be acceptable for a formal wedding? A suit would be an acceptable type of clothing for a formal wedding. Is it easy to receive criticism? No, it isn't easy to receive criticism, but it's difficult. What petrified you when you were a child? Are you still petrified? 
When I was a child, I was petrified of cockroaches. Nowadays, I am still petrified by cockroaches. Is it acceptable for the teacher to let students, students copy the answers from the other students? No, it isn't acceptable for the teacher to let students copy the answers from the other students. What might someone say to someone who is very angry? Do you think it helps? Someone might say, calm down to someone who's very angry. And no, I don't think it helps. What is an example of gentlemanly behavior? An example of gentlemanly behavior is opening a door for someone to walk through. If you study a language, how might your teacher criticize your writing? If I study a language, my teacher might criticize my writing with constructive criticism and advice to help me next time. What are some examples of words that a well-mannered person might use? Some examples of words that a well-mannered person might use are please, thank you, and welcome. Do you consider a sandwich a proper meal? Yes, I consider a sandwich a proper meal, of course, depending on the type of the sandwich. Do people often criticize politicians? Why? Sorry. Yes, people often criticize politicians because... I want this answer on my WhatsApp, okay? Can English grammar appear petrifying in the beginning of your... Of your I'm sorry, I will repeat. Can English grammar appear petrifying in the beginning of your language journey? Yes, English grammar can appear petrifying in the beginning of your language journey. What did Rachel's mother used to say when she was younger to her brothers? Rachel's mother used to say to her brothers, if you don't have anything constructive to say, don't say anything. Should parents be careful not to disturb their new baby when he or she is sleeping? Yes, parents should be careful to not disturb their new baby when he or she is sleeping. What was your first proper job? What were your responsibilities? Guys, I'm going to answer this with mine, okay? But I want your answers on my WhatsApp, okay? So, my first, my first proper job was an intern in an airline company and my responsibilities were to answer the phone and make reservations. Do all languages have vulgar words? Yes, all languages have vulgar words. What was the doctor accused of? The doctor was accused of giving improper medication to his patient. If football fans disturb the peace with their behavior, what might happen? If football fans disturb the peace with, with their behavior, behavior I'm sorry, guys. I will repeat. If football fans disturb the peace with their behavior, they might be arrested or banned from watching future matches. Is it a good idea to let children go to bed after midnight? No, it isn't a good idea to let children go to bed after midnight. Okay, guys. This was today's new content. Okay, if you have any questions, please let me know. See you. Bye-bye.